What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for AwesomeO.com, and I am back with my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Friday, December 31st. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments section who is your favorite and least favorite of my contenders for today's slate. And finally, shout out to No House Advantage for being the presenting sponsor of this video. Use the promo code AwesomeO when signing up to get up to $25 on your first deposit. Now we're rounding out the bottom of my top 10 with Norm Powell, Larry Nance, Cam Reddish, Donovan Mitchell, and Kyle Anderson on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today? It's time to find out. In first at number five is Omer Yurt7. And uh, keep your eyes peeled on this one because I don't necessarily think that this Miami game is going to happen today. Center eligible, 6,100. Projected for 38. The goal's 41. He's in the optimal lineup 27% of the time. Uh, you know, he's going to have to play a ton of minutes. I think they only have eight bodies and uh, the other seven don't exactly look like centers. Close to a fantasy, a little over a fantasy point per minute. 15% usage. 12 points-ish, 16 rebounds if he's playing massive minutes, an assist, a steal, a block, pace up spot against Houston. It's a If you're going to have to play with only eight guys, going up against the Houston Rockets is probably not the worst place to do it, but I don't know if they're going to be able to play. They have four active bodies that are normally on the team and five replacement players right now. Good luck in that case. You're going to hear more from the Miami Heat on the rest of this list. Number four, I'm going Kemba Walker, point guard eligible, 6K, projected for 36. The goal's 40 and a half. He's in the optimal lineup 28% of the time. I'm giving him 34 minutes, just north of a fantasy point per minute. No Julius Randle and potentially no Evan Fournier. I almost said Mobley there for a second. And then I almost said Ingram, which is even funnier. 25% usage for Kemba, 18 points, six assists, five boards. You know what you're getting here out of Kemba, but you're gonna get more opportunity as well with no Julius Randle. They could play slightly different. And they're taking on Oklahoma City, a team missing a bunch of guys, and they don't exactly have a ton of NBA talent to begin with. So while you don't have Julius Randle and that's important, it matters a lot less in this Oklahoma City game. Revenge narrative for Kemba Walker? Maybe. In at three, we're going Damian Lillard, point guard eligible, 9,100, projected for 50. The goal's 54. He's in the optimal lineup 34% of the time, so we're taking a step up in tier. 37 minutes, 1.37 fantasy points per minute in this spot, which is a matchup against the Lakers. Massive pace up spot. They gain 2.6 possessions over their average, and the Lakers' defense isn't very good. 33% usage for Dame. We've got no Anthony Simons, no CJ, no Nurk, no a couple other guys. 30 points, 30 real points, that is. Eight and a half assists, almost six boards and a stock. Lillard looks fantastic at 9,100. Um, it's possible that he looks even better as we, if, if we potentially lop off that Miami game, but 9,100 when there's no CJ, I'm happy to get to Dame. In at number two, we've got Tyler Hero. We've talked a little bit about this Heat game already, but shooting guard, small forward, 6,700. Projected for 45, the goal's 43 and a half, and he's in the optimal lineup 45% of the time. I've got him in for 38 minutes. I think that's what has to happen if they have to actually play this game. We're talking like 1.15 fantasy points per minute, 33% usage, 30 real points, seven boards, four and a half assists. It's a volume play here. 38 minutes potentially against a Houston team that would actually make it a pace up spot. There's no way around it. If the Miami Heat game has to play, Yurt7 looks incredible, Hero looks incredible, and our number one contender looks incredible. Now, before we get to that number one contender, one last reminder, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments who your favorite plays are, and then go sign up at No House Advantage using the promo code AWESOMO. And that number one contender is Jimmy Butler, shooting guard, small forward eligible, 9K, projected for 57. The goal is 53. He's in the optimal lineup 48% of the time. I'm giving him 38 minutes, 1.5 fantasy points per minute in this spot when we've got no Kyle Lowry, no Bam Adebayo on the floor, 32% usage, 30 points, eight and a half boards, seven assists, two and a half stocks, pace up against Houston. I think he throttles this Rockets team if he's able to, if they're able to play. Keep in mind, Jimmy Butler is also questionable with an ankle injury. He could just not play because he's injured. But if he is in, I'm expecting all of the minutes, I'm expecting all of the skill set, and I'm expecting Jimmy Butler to be our number one contender. 
Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Friday, December 31st. DraftKings and Yahoo versions of this video are around here somewhere. Check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Be safe on New Year's Eve. We're back again Monday morning for the first contenders of 2022.